Hidden Object Guru here with Hot New Game in Existence Rebirth. We had a little hassle trying to get the controller running, but now it seems to work fine. Let's check this thing out, shall we? It is apparently a remake of a Metroidvania called In Existence. Which is not a very good title for Metroidvania. Ah. Oh, damn. Oof. You suck at your job, Hald. Klaus? Oh, she has magic power. Damn. Uh-oh. Damn! That was hardcore. All right. So I just have to magic crystal. That should be easy enough. I mean, I've got a hoodie and a jaunty jacket. Okay. Nice. Is it supposed to kill that little weirdo? Probably. The game is not uh, giving me plenty of other ways to uh, interact with people. But you actually have to pick up the experience points. Those look like spikes that'll hurt me if I touch them, so... I'm gonna jump over them and not test that. Presser, D to dodge, okay. You can only backflip. Okay. Whoa, dude. Ow! That one's on me. You okay? She's okay, everybody. Don't have to worry about her. Damn, I got quite a jump going on here. I don't think so, pal. One, two, three. Wait, he can hurt me not with the fire breath? You, That's like, disappointing. I, just, I think you just ran into it. Oh, yeah, but why should that hurt me? That's how video games work. Some. Not your better video games. Oh, hey, I can climb a corner. Uh, climb on corners. Ledges, if you will. No! I leveled up and nothing seems to have come of it. Okay. Oh yes, Roar King said hallo. Hello! Hello! Or even allo, perhaps. Hello? 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 Now it sounds like you're making fun of French people. Oh, well, I am. Ouch. What? They make fun of me all the time. That's true. They're not very nice to you. Just as a general rule. Alright, we got a big flower in the background and a killer flower here. And wow, this backflip almost never works. Okay, I think it's my shoulder button that doesn't work. Maybe I was pressing the wrong shoulder button this whole time. Okay, there we go. Now I'm comfy. A hundred coins? That should almost cover the injuries I've suffered in the first five minutes of this game. You know, having them healed. Oh. A mysterious flower. With a sign in front of it. Shall I learn the genus of this flower, or perhaps the species? My skills for how each level up has one skill. Great, how do I use them? Oh, okay. So what do you think? Strength, defense, or magic? Strength? 
Strength. Strength. Should I use strength? Double jump. Nice. Why can I not buy these? Ooh. Draw coins towards you. Hell's Flame. King of Combos. Drawing coins and uh, XP orbs towards you seems very useful, doesn't it? Allows you to see HP of enemies. Oh my god, so many good skills. Yeah, I'll just... So do I have two stat points and two skill points? Or do I just have two points that I have to pick between stats and skills? I guess I should find out, right? She agrees with me. Press space to display the map and better locate yourself. That one I'd already done. It's not really helping me locate myself. Uh, hey, it's a healing potion! Save is fine. I don't need to teleport yet. Wouldst thou sellest me a bigger, scarier sword, my good sir, uh, my good Sahasra? Sahasra is a strange name and an intriguing one. I live in a hut. It's fine. And do you bring the house with you? Ooh. Ten rare puzzle pieces on the island. Ooh. Nice. I do like the sound of that, don't I? I do. Magic puzzle pieces. Gotcha. Antidote for poison. Nice. Nice. Oh, very nice. What is a Chozo suit? Oh, from, um... Uh, from Metroid. Pegasus boots. And a gold pendante. Teleportation stone. Oh, go straight to the shop. Nice. All of that seems useful, but I don't have any money. He's okay. You can press the magic button to throw uh, fireballs. I will do that. Anything else for me to search out here? No? Okay. Rock and beat game? Right, let's try this projectile in the next animal we meet. I assume B is my magic button. Oh! Good. That felt like a close jump. Oh, okay. YouTube will not let it, him post the quote. I have to assume that means the uh, quote is full of profanity. I'm basing that on very little, though. How much gold do I have? 225. I'm well on the way to being able to afford a better sword. I need four times as much. I assume you can. I was just being sarcastic. It wasn't like clear that I was being sarcastic because I put no intonation in my voice to make that clear. It was supposed to be a clever irony. Oh, this is so weird. You have to press the shoulder button away from the direction you're facing to do it. So when you're facing left, right shoulder button does a backflip and vice versa. That wasn't immediately clear, game. Although I didn't read the directions that closely, so maybe it was. Whoa. Oh, there's nothing wrong with my beloved control. I do love it. No! I moved instead of hitting the button. Damn right I leveled up. I will take that potion. So, I don't know what magazine it was, but some magazine said to themselves, you know who deserves to be put on uh, TV right now? Sorry, uh, in our magazine right now? Who? Matt Lauer. Who's Matt Lauer? Oh, the, the... Famous rapist. Yeah, okay. Yep, 
They're like, we really feel like he should weigh in on this whole investigating people for sex crimes thing. His voice hasn't been heard enough on this subject, is what a magazine thought. And Matt Lauer thought it was okay for him to speak publicly? Of course. He wants to go back, be back on TV. Oh, F that shit. Well, the funny part is, they're like trying to say Ronan Farrow can't be trusted. Because he hates uh, sex crimes so much that you obviously can't trust him with investigating sex crimes. Because, you know... Because he's against them. Hating sex crimes. Is a bad now, quality. It's yeah. now a political stance. Well, when the president's a sex criminal, yeah, it is. Oh One of the two parties is pro-sex crimes. Like, they wanted a child molester to become a senator. Like, that's a thing that really happened. Like, a guy who basically everyone agreed was a child molester, they're like, we want him to be a senator. You need to stop bumming me out now. Sorry, it was just like, so, the so, idea that, like, people are like, we should write a bunch of articles about how you can't trust Ronan Farrow. What is that on the ground? Oh, it's just a pop-up. Okay. Well, now we know they're useless scum. Oh, yeah, of course. But, wow. That's the world we live in today. Alright, so you're... you're Totally like bumming me out. You're welcome. Uh, which I had a shit day, so maybe don't do that. Aww. So, um, let's talk about kittens. I hear kittens are cute. How cute are kittens? Does everybody Almost love too kittens? cute. Are, are, are you comforted in knowing that Allison Bree has an adorable kitten? One but, that's almost too adorable? By the way, did you notice in that community thing that Allison Bree is basically Britta? Yeah. She's high all the time. Yep. She, she has cats. Surrounds herself with cats. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how Brita-ish she is. Yeah. I don't know if she was high for that, but... She seemed pretty high for that. She was lying on the floor at the end. Yeah. She was no longer able to sit up. I think she had gotten high, uh, probably eaten something, yeah. right before the uh, uh, record started. And then she just like, you know. Well, well, I thought a, that was gonna boomerang I back. Mean, the it kicked in. Only half an hour, so And then it kicked in afterwards and yeah. she's like, Oh, I can't sit in a chair anymore. I didn't realize this was going to go for four hours. It did not go for four hours. They they actually, no, they said it on the Oh they did? Yeah, on the on Damn. the on the subsequent darkest uh, darkest timeline podcast. I'm in trouble. They said they had that's why everybody started signing off. Because we're like, wow. ah, it's been, that's why they were making all the jokes about having to go to the bathroom. Because it had right. been four hours. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, no, they very clearly stated they all were on there for Good four to know. hours together. And by the way, we're not disparaging her on one of the podcasts uh, for the Darkest Timeline. She actually does say oh, that, was that close. she just took a gummy, uh, marijuana wink, wink, gummy, wink. and it's, it's hitting her now. The point is, Allison Brie gets high all the time. That's all you really need or to know about Or at least once on a public, a public podcast. And now we've decided... Twice. That. Well, we, she didn't admit to it the second time. Well, no, but it was obvious the second time. Well, the first time was pretty obvious, too. Not as obvious as it was the second time. She collapsed to a floor. <laughs> what the hell is that?! Well, he's not magic proof. I'll tell you that for nothing. How do I get magic points back? Did we ever establish that? Oh, do they just come back naturally with time? They do. Well, I don't have to, like, hit things for them to come back. Nice. Secret wall! With a skill How point hidden behind. that was there? I didn't. Just got lucky. Alright. Bestiary. Oh my god, his name is Dark Horde. There's a guy named Splatch. Batkov? It's a weird name, buddy. So I have three skill points. Hell's Flame. Press the magic button while holding the damn button to throw magic flames. That sounds cool. I want double jump, but I can't unlock it yet. Super jump. So lots of matter of legendary swordsmen. Ooh. That wasn't scary at all. No, not at all. Play a sound when a hidden chest is in the room. Nice. I didn't know there were hidden chests in the game. 
Display the hidden rooms on the map? Oh, hell yes. Oh, you can add a roll forward to do a dodge attack. Nice. This all seems very handy. Uh, oh, wow, I've actually looped around. Nice. Well, that's a hidden room. Dude exploded. It was awesome. Yeah, I shouldn't have assumed there would be more of those. Nope. He looks uncannily like that guy from uh, Mega Man. You know, Play-Doh Man, whatever his name is. I actually have no idea what that character's name is other than Play-Doh Man. It's weird. See, that time I did see the secret passage. That time it wasn't a lucky guess. I knew where the actual passageway was, so I just made an educated, not lucky, guess about, uh, damn, uh, about where the entrance to it would be. And yes, I proved to be right. Straight down or go way over to the left? Let's go way over to the left again. Damn it! These poison dudes are on my last nerve. Oh god, I didn't even notice that was a death rock. Also, I didn't know death rocks were a thing. So when you level up, they don't... Like, you get 30 more hit points per level, right? Mm -hmm. But they don't give you those 30 hit points when you level up. So you oh. see the bar? Yeah. It gets shorter when you level up, because now your 200 hit points is actually less than your total percentage had been in the past. Huh. Yeah. That's strange. Yeah. It is weird. Usually they will either give you full health when you yeah. level up, or just give you the hit points you weren't. But no. You have to wait until you find a healing fountain. Interesting. It's very strange. Hmm. Alright, here we go. So the goal here is to not get poisoned. Also, to murder that demon puppy with exposed ribs, which is actually extremely creepy. Damn, I really thought I was going to kill him with three hits, but I was all backwards. So here's the guy who poisoned me last time. God damn it! I just can't catch a break with this guy. Actually, that, that works great. Level up! What? Ooh, a magic jacket. How does that work? Armors. Ooh, nice. I got a fire pendant? When did I find that? Oh, his clothing didn't change colors. I guess that's not always going to happen, but still, what a nice thing. Trying to get stupidly powerful as quickly as possible, and then I'll work on my dodging. So my complete lack of health and defense won't nix in me later on. Whoa! That sucked. And that was the whole secret passage? Alright, that might not have been the best path. But I've uncovered the map, as you can see. We have now had a look at 13% of the map. Is he going to die when he hits those spikes? No. Filthy beast. Or to use the vernacular, stink pig. I find that to be te cheatery. It is. That being said, he's made out of slime, so it's possible the spikes just... He just flowed around the spikes. Although I'm hitting him with a sword, so that doesn't really make sense at all. My willingness to meet the... Uh, game halfway as boomerang uh oh gotta be a titch more careful also I have to wait a bunch of uh wait waste a bunch of magic power firing force blasts okay this went great we got a magic item. We leveled up again. We're tougher than ever. We're ready to face the coming storm. 
Can we get up here? No, we cannot. Come on. Oh, this cat. Wait, you're saying there's a doorway here? Come on. That bat was actually really cute, and I regret having to murder it. Although, some might say I don't have to do anything, and I chose to murder the bat. Where's the door? Oh, I have to go down and around. Okay. I thought it was weird that there would be a door up here in this place where I found the secret room. Secret rooms tend to be dead ends, if you know what I mean. Do you mean the specific thing you just said? Yes. Well, that sucked. Oh, well, here's where I have to push it, so at least we found that. Nice. Oh, totally, he said, while being in no way confident of that. Because of the whole delay in picking up experience points, that made it look like destroying a box made me level up, which, of course, is not the case. All right, and so this just goes down to the next area, which I don't want to do yet. Yeah, we have to climb all the way back up here. Damn. Now I see why it's so important to have Antidote around. I mean, they just hit you for a small amount of damage, but then the poison does, like, a hundred extra points of damage. Nope. Alright, let's check this out. Ah! In my defense, that bat came out of nowhere, and I was right to be scared. She doesn't agree with me. But she's pretending to, which is nice. We did it! What? Flap your wings more, you freak. Is this all the same room? Okay, I feel like this map is really belying the enormous size of these rooms. Yeah, that's and those should be they should be broken up into smaller sections, I would assume. Oh, so I missed a bonus back there. Well, it's fine. It's next to a... Cool. Yes! Why do you think I needed that key? To open a door? Or a chest? Oh, this was a secret room! Look! Now, can I teleport back there? Or is that, that how secret that room is? Oh, I can't even teleport back there. That is a very secret room. Even by the standards of secret rooms. Okay, let's do this. Every time! Well, at least this time I managed to kill him. But... Oof. Jump! Wait, how do we get to the right? Maybe that's a glitch, and that is the room? I don't like one-eyed creep here. Weird that there was nothing in that jump place. I just want to make sure there's not, like, a secret door to jump back and climb up or nonsense like that. Oh, come on, his friend followed me? I'm sorry I murdered your friend, but in my defense, he seemed like a jerk. This is... Oh, my God. Um, what did Horror King miss? Um, oh, me yeah. finding a magic secret room. A conversation that baffled about everyone. Kittens. And how awesome kittens are. And then we talked about community. Yes, community is wonderful. And then, uh... Yeah, that was pretty much it. Yes, we are not uh, entertaining people. When you disappear mysteriously, you're not actually missing as much as you think you are. Ah! Gotcha, you jerk. And he poisoned me. See what I mean about the poison taking health way too fast? You're supposed to look now. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. It seems obscene. Alright, here we go. 
You know, in Symphony of the Night, there were separate health and save rooms. No, sorry. Health and teleport rooms. Uh, and of course, you could save at the health place, but not at the teleport place. Whereas here, they have combined it into... Oh my god. Oh no, it just makes sense. Why add a, why add a whole extra class of rooms? Why am I so bad at fighting these slimes? Well, at least the time I didn't get poisoned. But gosh, darn it. They're annoying. Is this guy gonna just jump down to attack me? Dudes do not have strong priorities. Well, at least I'm about to level up. Uh, okay, let's head to the right. Or Richtig, as the Germans say. All right, we did it. And we leveled up. Perfect timing as the kid. Oh no, Hellhound. Went down, uh... Oh, of course she'll buy that leopard print dress. She's not crazy. No, I won't. She has formal leopard uh, things to go to all the time. I, I, I will totally not. Sadly, she is, she is turned on leopard print dresses. I am not a French-Canadian over uh, tan smoking lady. Damn. I do not wear leopard print dresses. That is quite a cliche. Okay, well, I am technically French. Pardon. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I'm in really bad shape right now. Normal leopard print dress. I know. Just take a moment to like... It's amazing. Wow. I'm just saying it. Those people are living the dream. I, and don't get me wrong. I actually quite like... They're not my thing, but animal prints and leopard prints on other people are quite stunning. I have a good friend that constantly wears them and they totally suit her. Uh, and it, you and jerk. the dress in question could be, you know, nice on some people, but to describe it as a formal dress is was, quite an extreme uh, position to be yes. taking. Ah! Where are you getting all these axes, one-eyed monster? Whoa! He just committed suicide. All right, so let's go to the right. Oh, this doesn't feel safe. Well, we're not having to jump from one moving platform to the next, so... That's why we needed to find the key. Okay. Or just entertained. Uh-oh, this feels like a boss fight. Oh my god, it's a giant version of the One-Eyed Man! Whose name is Cyclos! Well, don't let him get so close to you, then. Oh. Everyone was made sad by what you just did. <laughs> Whoa, dude! I feel it. What, I can't jump away? No, but look at that pillar. Can you get him to kick that pillar? No. God damn it. Yeah, because he, he doesn't you. stagger. What's that? He stomped you. Yeah, because he doesn't stagger when he gets hit, it's kind of hard to, you know, hit him a bunch and then jump away. So what you end up doing is hitting him once. Did it reset you right at the boss fight? No. But that very few games do in this genre. Really? Oh yeah, it's Metroidvania. They expect you to uh, uh, right. That's why I never explore. Know. That being said, the better ones will put a save room much closer to the boss fight than this is. Yeah. Sorry, pal. But I had something else in mind. Your death. Ow. Damn. Okay. Did I level up at all? I did. Alright. 
That should give my uh, strength enough multipliers to make quick work of all of these kittens. And cats. Or not. Does anyone remember where the, sh Does anyone remember where the shop was? Because that's something I might want to look into at some point. Alright, boss fight time. good at aiming those. Oh, we can't get into the corner. Well, that made life a lot easier. Yeah, he can't get into the corner. And now, right? Lucky me, as the kids say. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, okay, this map sucks. Are you seeing this? Which dot are you? I'm are the you? flashing dot. But look at the red save room. And what's directly below the save room? Well, that was the hallway that led to the boss fight chamber. But neither the hallway nor the boss fight chamber are appearing on screen. That's really Maybe if I walk back while there's not a boss fight here? Oh, you could climb up on this wall to jump over him when he gets close. I mean, I liked my solution more, but that's a good solution, too. Yeah. Nope. It's a yeah. blank space. Map just doesn't work. Really kind of figured that out. We had a good sense that the map was a little on the iffy side, oh, but we didn't know it was that broken. That? A guy who always skips leg day. Waka waka. Uh, yeah, I know. People still do that. What? Like leg day arm. Yeah, day. they exercise on different days, so they can exercise be exercising every day and give different parts of their body the day off to recover. Yeah, I mean, if it's a very efficient way to exercise. Oh. I missed time that pretty badly. Let's see if there's a save room over here. I suspected as much. Save time. Hey, how much cash do we have? Uh, we have 1060. We can almost afford an awesome new sword. Well, we can afford one awesome new sword, but I want the 2000. What's that? New sword. I know. Everybody loves new swords. Whoa. Not so smug now, are you, you gangly armed monster? Watch that thing. Thank you. So we don't have the ability to destroy that yet. Ow, but we have to remember to come back and get it. I don't feel great about killing these, you know, little fluff, fluff balls. I know, they're so cute. Little fluff balls. They're adorable. Whoa, that's terrible. It was pretty scary. Wait, there's something on the wall. Okay. You're right, another grab point. <gasps> a secret chest with a super potion in it. 200 hit points? I feel like that's 200 hit points. Uh, oh, I had a potion this whole time. I could have used it. It was 250. Nice. I could have used it during a boss fight. Eh, it worked out. What? No! I hate this guy so much. He's the bunny knight. There's two of him? He's, he's weak against magic is the thing. Keep increasing that strength, Toguru. Also, get better at not getting hit. I was going to say the gigantic, horrifying enemy did less damage than the fluff balls. It's weird, right? Ah. Oh. And the icicles. Okay. A hundred more coins! What? Nice. I'd say this is going great. Making excellent progress. The Vania here is quite Metroid. I read someone's terrible article about why they should change the uh, genre name Metroidvania because it requires you to know about the game Metroid and about the game Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And then people were like, well, what would you change the name to? And he's like, 
exploration 2D platformer fighting brawler games. I'm like, yeah, that's not helpful. You have not made it any better. Every now and then, like, I understand it's hard to come up with names for these genres. But every now, it's only rarely that I'll be like, no, that's a terrible name for a genre. Like, uh, what was that terrible genre? Oh, character action is what some people want to call a genre. What genre would that be? Uh, you know Devil May Cry? The games where you play one guy who, like, yeah. you know, does a lot of kung fu against hordes of enemies. Well, not hordes. Against a couple of enemies at the time, you're super tough and you do flashy action. Yeah. They want to call that character action. And I think all right-thinking people hear character action yeah. and they think, what do you mean? That, that accomplishes nothing. Which is why I um, suggested the... Uh, the what do you call it? The, a far better and more descriptive term. Stylish action. Because all of those games are about one thing and one thing only. Making violence as visually stylish as possible. Yeah. Oh, yes. I know I should increase my stats other than strength at some point. But how shall I put this? I'm obsessed with buffing up this guy's strength as fast as possible. Now, especially... Uh, defense obviously cuts damage... But what does magic mean? Is that more magic power, or is that a l bigger magic pool? Because they don't assign, they assign numbers to your health, as you can see, but they don't assign numbers to your magic pool or to your experience, so I have no idea whether they're going up or not. It's very frustrating. Oh yeah. Sorry, Fizzbeam. Fuzzbeam? Fuzzbeam. Oh, this looks dangerous. No, really? Oh, this is bad. Oh my god, no! No! Hey, let's never do that again! Terrifying. We finally have enough damage to kill these slimes with one hit, so I don't have to worry about getting uh, poisoned anymore. It was the second hit that always nicks into me. Hey, buddy. Is my uh, magic damage going up as I get uh, as I get higher strength? So it's currently doing like 50 some points of damage. Let's check it out next time I level up my strength, which hopefully will be soon. How's that then? A frost giant? Whoa! That was over 100 damage he did to me. That's terrifying. So maybe we're supposed to avoid the frost giant for now. Oh, wait. Um, there's a magic power I can buy that has fireballs. Not gonna buy it yet. Fireballs. Yep. Fireballs. Fireballs. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so that really happened. Oh, we will try increasing our magic. Don't worry. We're just gonna do some experiments with it first. We need to get to a save point before we do anything crazy. Also, I haven't leveled up recently, so I don't have any uh, uh, points to spend. See? Soon enough, though. Nice. Ice Pendant! Hell yes! Oh, yeah. So it increased my strength, but lowered my defense and my magic. Although by lowering my magic, I could instantly tell if that affects my magic damage. So let's test that the next monster we see. We didn't see any more monsters. Ice caves? I thought there was going to be a save point in here. Save point is directly to the right of... What the hell is this? Was that a bat? Oh, thank heavens. I don't need to level up my defense, Horror King, and we know what that does. What we don't know is what the magic does. Oh, we're about to find out. Ow! 
All right, so that's a Minotaur, correct? Yeah. So one Fireball does 32 points of damage. Now, I put on the Pendant that lowers my magic powers. So we did 32 points of damage. Now we're going to do... 28. So, it, okay, magic is definitely your magic power, uh, power, but maybe also... Your meter. Your meter. Alright, so, let's check something. What is that blue spot over that one? You don't know either? I asked the wrong lady. Alright, so we go to the uh, gear. I'm still using a wooden sword? What's wrong with me? Oh, because I was saving up for the $2,000 sword instead of buying the $800 sword. Right. Right, so, we're finding a monster. Oh, good, it's another one of these jerks. Alright, so, shoot him once. That's 28. Increase my magic one point. 31, okay, so that's good. Alright, so I'm going to increase my strength one. Both of them increase how much your magic does. Yay! He died! Oh, that sounded terrible. That is, I know he's a villain, but I should not be saying yay, people die. I'm not good at doing this dodge back. Wait, animal skin? Is there crafting in this game, or is that like for a mission? Okay. See, when you backflip, you're still in range of his attacks. So you actually have to backflip. What the hell? Whoa. Damn. That was a lot of monster. And we did all that for 100 points. Come on, game. Get it together. No, this thing seems very cool. And then I screwed up really badly and died. Am I close to that save point? Please tell me I'm close to that save point. Not at all. And I probably will not survive the return trip. Because there's an ice giant right there. So how about we use a little health. And see if we can make it to the next save point. God damn you, face bat. I call him face bat, but because he's a bat with a demon face. That was clear, right? I didn't mean to explain that. Oh, save point. Oh, sorry, yeah, skill point. Nice. I've almost got one of, enough skill points for one of the high-end powers. So glad that worked. He's going to jump down after me, isn't he? Like all the other monsters in this game do. Something tells me I shouldn't jump in the frozen water. Gah! Damn face bat. Face bat can also throw fireballs at you. Alright, maybe I do go this way. Hey, pal. Whoa. That was awesome. Okay, well, that's found money. I got a uh, super potion. I'll use a super potion. Whew. Oh, come on. Damn, that was close. Hey, buddy. I've got to get better at timing that escape. It might seem cheap to use the fireball or force ball, if you will, on a flying uh, demon head bat, but they can shoot fireballs too. I mean, is it not cool of me to shoot it while he's still sleeping? Yeah. It seems like the game understood that and made me miss. I know that's not what happened, but... Teleportation stone? What? Oh, right, we learned about that, but it looked like a key when it was in the shop inventory. 
fascinating and logical too. Oh my god, that backflip's amazing. Oh, thank god, it's this weirdo. Hey, wait, I just noticed he also has one eye. Is there a whole race of one-eyed monsters down here with eerily similar powers? They all seem to have very buff arms, is why I say that. Oh, come on! Whoa! There was two of them back to back. Ah. So much strength, yes. I was worried we were not going to make it here alive. But not only did we make it here alive, we acquitted ourselves quite capably against the foes in quest. Oh, we're freezing to death because we're underwater. That did 110 points of damage. Let's take one last dip. See what we can do. Okay, well, we're just going to pretend that one didn't. Feel free to laugh anytime now. Oh my god, I'm being mocked mercilessly. You people have it no was idea. So funny. <laughs> wow. I've been trying not to do it out loud. You failed, though. I failed Yeah, because it's a lot of tapping, which I don't generally enjoy. Oh, it's Mario style swimming? Yep. Ooh. Oh, can I go down there? You cannot go down there, but we just found out that uh, falling down death pits only hurts you. It doesn't kill you. So that's good. Lesson learned. What? Why is it only ever 100 coins? Okay, you're right. What the hell? You're in water, so your flippy jump made you go kind of further? I guess. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, no! Oh, okay. This mermaid lady is some sort of a villain. She had a vibe like I would be able to talk to her. That is not what happened. I'm being told that there are exits from this place, but I'm not seeing any, because this is the way I came in. I remember where they air this, which is why I was doing that. This is so much faster than the swimming. Ah, good. Puzzle piece! I found one of the puzzle pieces, people. Way to go, secret room. Alright, let's go and save and we'll figure out the rest of this some other time. Yeah! Very solid Metroidvania, developer. You should be very proud of yourselves. Even when I'm constantly getting myself into trouble. I still think it's badass. Anyway, uh, we'll pull out, wrap this up here. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnot, go in the comment section below the video. Oh my god, we almost have enough money to buy that sword! See you back here for <laughs> more. But until then, I'm going to say that's right, or a vlog.